here YouTube. I'm back here today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran today. We're over on GameFound. I'm pretty upset about Kickstarter right now. They made a change to their main pages that just I, I don't I don't I don't know why they did it. It seems stupid. And so I'm just shunning them until tomorrow. So we're covering a game found. That being said, I also just assume this thing is going to be massive because we're covering Roth by Chip Theory Games. And as you can see from this super fantastic main image, sarcasm, it's a game about a, um, a dwarf. What more do you need to know, right? It's Chip Theory Games, too, who is a much beloved publisher. Pretty much when they release something, people get excited. Uh, but, but as for looking at the main image, it's, it's really poor i mean let's be quite frank here it doesn't it doesn't do anything for anyone unless you're just automatically excited about the game let's see if the description does a bit more an approachable neon soaked fantasy area control game from manny trembley and chip theory i don't know who manny trembley is hopefully they will do a little bit more uh to make me better understand who manny is and get me excited 60 minutes to play that is interesting wasn't expecting it to be that low solo area control dice game ah, dice game these cat these categories are so bad luckily uh they are going to i actually just saw on facebook facebook they're they're looking into fixing the category system and limiting it to a certain number of categories because some of these are just like, I know it's so low. It's one, like, come on. Anywho, as always, though, in the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? I know it's so low because they mentioned one to four players. I guess you should say that. Let's go. What if I told you that a singular battle has the power to shape the entire destiny of your people? Would you choose to fight or surrender your fate to the hands of others? Whew. For generations, Tough one. clans from every corner of Drudgeon gather each year on the King's Hill. Fight. More cool. commonly known as the island of Roth. Show me components! Where the ultimate challenge takes place, and the balance of political power shifts. Rooted in tradition, forged as a remedy against any- Okay, I don't need 30 seconds of, wow, we're getting together so we can all fight each other. That is not an original or unique theme. I get it, you want to showcase artwork, but come on, give me some components already. We're 25% in, and this has been a complete waste of time. It's Mortal Kombat, but groups of people fighting. Endless wars. The victors not only secure oh. power, but also gain control over the territory. Oh, oh, that almost looked like a component there for a second. Enter the world of Roth, an asymmetrical... That box. That box. I mean, it's the front of the box, so I'm not going to knock it, as long as your side has your name on it, but that front of the box, um, it's a choice. It's a choice. Roth, an asymmetrical area control game that shapes the battlefield by harnessing the power of dice drafting. Players take turns... Those are some nice looking dice. ...utilizing their chosen actions to command troops, gather resources, and launch strategic attacks in a dynamic turn-based showdown. Will you choose to ally yourself with the trap-laying expert? There we go. I was going to say, so far this has looked incredibly mechanical. Now we're at least uh, slapping on a theme a little bit here. Cool. Liking that player board. Lots to read there. The rage-filled coda, or opt for the long-range fighting skills of the older. <laughs> see, see, this is what I'm talking about here. This is exactly what we did in the first 45 seconds, except now you're not just telling me about the people. You're showing me their components and what makes them different and asymmetrical so I can get excited. Because I'm not excited when you're just like, oh, here's the dwarves, and here's elves, and here's a vampire-looking guy. Ooh, scary. Like, I don't care. Like, just, cool. Now I know that this person has range, and this person does, you know, harvest or whatever the hell. Like, uh, I don't know. Perhaps it's the skill of stealth and surprise of the. Yeah, this is so much better. It calls you. The unparalleled strength and resilience of the rumor, or the guild's mastery of transforming intelligence into covert advantages. With that 30 seconds right there got me excited for the game. Whichever you decide. The responsibility falls on you to leverage your clan's unique abilities to secure control and assert dominance over the King's Hill. What if I told you that a singular battle has the power to shape the entire... Please don't tell me you wasted the last 30 seconds on theme. Don't tell me you just pivoted to theme. Don't do it. I know you're Chip Theory Games. You do Chip Theory Games things. But come on, man. Tell me this last 30 seconds isn't just straight artwork and theme. Destiny of your people. Would you choose to fight or surrender your fate to the hands of others? 
uh, is did 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 <laughs> like you just copied your your introductory sentence there? Like I know I do that with my son. He's eight. He's got letters that like race. So it's like you got to do the you're restating what you said. I don't know. Okay. Cool. There's a logo. It's you. Man, I think about a minute of that video could have been trimmed and no one would have cared. It's you. Cool. Hey, I do like Onero. Okay. Once again, I don't put that on Nero. Uh, I put that on them because I'm sure they're like, hey, we want the first 30 seconds to be themed, the last 30 seconds to be themed. Cool. Uh, all right. So $55. Holy crap. That's a great price. Once again, one of the things I love about GameFound is the feature pledge because now I know this is a very reasonably priced game. And honestly, when I saw it was Chip Theory Games, I was expecting it to be a much higher price because that's... That's just typically what they do. That being said, component-wise, I wasn't very impressed with the components aside from the dice. That makes sense. It's a $55 game. Most of it's just, you know, little little knickknacks and patty wats, little weird-shaped cubes and stuff like that. Okay, cool. Oh, of course, that's the uh, that's the this is the base game pledge, and now I can see that we have a deluxe pledge, of course, which has all these fancy play mats here. Gotta have a fancy play. That's one to four, 60 minutes, fast and easy to learn area control game available in these languages. Ooh, that scares me even more. That makes me feel the language. Yeah. Is this based on a game IP, the name Dying Light? Is this based on a video game IP, the name Dying Light sounds familiar. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm in the wrong. I'm in the wrong thing. Oh my gosh. No, I just didn't name it properly like an idiot. <laughs> can I fix it right now? I don't know if there's a thing you can do. Did I just did I just break the fourth wall? What did I do? What? No! I don't need my office. What the hell's going on? What did I do? Did I save it? I don't know what you're talking about. Dying light. That's not the name of this video, Sean. It's uh, it's Roth. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Just got back from a Gamma Trade Show, which, by the way, hopefully, I make a video of that pretty soon. Wow, that was an eye opener. A lot of cool stuff. So 55 bucks plus the affordable flat rate shipping. Cool. So you've alluded to the shipping. Now I'm excited. We'll get there when we get there. From the minds of Manny Trembley, co-designer Dice Throne, artist Wonderland, Radlands. Okay. I, the co-designer part's cool. I don't really care about their artistry unless they're the artists themselves, in which case that's different. Are they artists? I don't know. I do love Dice Thrones, though, which gets me excited about this game. What's in the box? Neon Soak Fantasy Industry Best Components 5 PBC Faction Feed Cards 20 Gems 9 Action Dice 1 Edge Stitch Neoprene Mat Wow! Neoprene Mat is in the base game. Very nice. 4 PVC Player Reference Cards. Why? Because we want you to fancy the see how fancy these components are. 5 Double-sided faction play match, edge stitch, five and a half inches by ten and a half inches. I love the fact you're telling me the exact dimensions. I'd also tell me that in millimeters. It feels lazy if you don't. It really does, especially considering you know better. You've done this over and over and over and over again, and you know there's a lot of people outside the United States of America and those two other weird countries that decided they were going to use it too. Um, so, yeah, I would convert those those conversions. It just seems lazy if you don't. And I'd say the same thing if it was just millimeters. So I'm going to say the same thing when I see inches. See, there's a gameplay. Cool. Hopefully there's a video. Hit me with that gameplay and that preview. That preview you paid paid for. How to play. Ooh. And that's not a knock saying you paid for it. It's just, it is what it is most of the time. This is a prototype. Yada, yada, yada. Full how to play. That's fantastic. That's how you lead off. And the rule booklet. Excellent. Coming soon. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. Why isn't it now? Oh, because it's a rough draft? No one cares. Put it up. Let us tear it apart. Give you feedback. Once again, this isn't your first rodeo. Ugh. It's a little ugly there. Uh, okay. Video coming soon. How to play solo and co-op. Glad that they know they need to have that. It's, it's disappointing that it's not just there. Mandela effect. <laughs> it's a chip theory. They never ship cardboard. It's all neoprene plastic. Thank you, Chris. That I would know that if they weren't above my pay grade. 86 bucks, that's a great price. So it's 31 bucks, and I'm getting two extra boxes at $15.50 a pop. So two new factions, I'm in. I don't think twice about it. So you've immediately jumped me from this pledge, which only has 86, to this one, which has 863. Once again, 10 times more. So kudos for you. And then this is a huge jump. Jiminy Christmas, $160. Yikes. You're going to get 160 more dollars out of me? That seems a lot. So what is it? All of it. The Roth. Cool. Glad you make me click to find out. 
Uh, so these are the two things I want. And we have metal troop tokens. What are these? Okay, they're fans here. Whatevs. What else is in here? Art book. I don't care. I could not possibly care any less. Metal art print. Grab the entire of these beautiful... Jimmy, yeah, no wonder nobody's buying this. Who the hell wants this? Well, 106 people, apparently, so good for them. They bamboozled 106 people into buying a bunch of crap that's going to collect dust. Good. For Actually, you know what? I shouldn't say that. These won't collect dust. That art book will. And that... Well, you know what? I shouldn't say that. It's just the art book. I just hate art books. I have a very strong hatred for art books. All right. Uh, become a CTG strategist. The precious treasure of legend and renown. A legendary strategist pledge. Here it is. Ten people have the opportunity to contribute a high dollar pledge to Chip Theory in exchange for the generosity. We'll provide them with a copy of every new base game we crowdfund without any additional charge. You know what? This is a really cool idea. I did a Kickstarter a very, very long time ago, and we had something similar to this, except we made they made more than one game. Uh, so cool. I kind of like that. You know, you're always going to have people who are just interested in investing. I imagine the only rule is you have to back it for a dollar or something like that. Cool. New AI faction. One new map to chest your metal against the opposition on a lovely PVC card. Fantastic. Pearl, pearlized chaos and counter dice. Also fancier dice. All right, that's fine. Nice. Roth emblem added to basic truths. Cool. Like it. Add-ons. Here we go. Stuff. Things. Uh, review. Preview. Review. PvP mode. Tutorial playthrough. So we got a gameplay. Cool. And previews and reviews. Awesome. Shed your mortal coil to become a grizzled. So now we got more stuff, things. I'm done. I feel like I'm pre I've pretty much seen everything I need. Just the shipping. I mean, this is all good stuff here. And the rule booklet. That's that's very disappointing. Da, 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 da. Skipping past. All oh, hey. That almost skipped past something important. All right. 10 bucks. 65 bucks in and out the door. It's a great price. You go into 96 bucks in and out the door once we get the all gameplay bundle. That does not seem like a bad price at all. That being said, it is kind of annoying. You have three pledge levels and only one. Oh, it's because it's flat rate. Duh. Can't complain because it's flat rate. Cool. So pretty much if you're buying the bigger pledges, you're going to be saving a little extra money on shipping. That's fine. Even if you're not, though, 65 bucks, 5 bucks more than MSRP for a company that has a really good track record. I'm in. Looks good. Boom, and we're out. Hate the placement of the shipping. Once again, I can't complain because I can always just go boom right there. Um, so 65 bucks and out the door. Cool. Honestly, pedigree alone I'm in. Because the video sure as heck didn't get me excited at all. <laughs> well, let me rephrase that. One minute, half the video did. So this one's not out. 20 strong. Oh, so this was the Elder Scroll. Is this one? I don't think this one's out either. I'm pretty sure I would have saw this one. Burn Cycle, I do believe is out. And then Too Many Bones Unbreakable, I do also believe is out. But let's double check, see? Normally we do this at the front end, but I forgot. It's also chip three game, so like I'm not worried about can you do it? Yes, they're gonna do it. I wouldn't particularly be worried about it. Got a nice tip here for those getting the playmat. If you want a nice storage option for your closet, given that the playmat is now three by five in length. There in the USA, you go to the USP uh cool. With the playmat quest, cool stuff, things. Thank you for the thorough updates. The pictures very much appreciated. So no, this one's not out. Uh, Elder Scrolls, yeah, I, I didn't think it was out. Bird Cycle, I do believe, is out. Yeah, I think I've seen this at a convention. Let's double check, see? If anyone wants to check out the gameplay of the new con, Mike from One Stop Co-op Shop has recently posted a video playing through one of the new adaptable missions. This is the worst experience from GameFound to date for me. I ordered $884 worth of goods. Actually, I do. Uh, I actually am going to make a YouTube short about this as well. I was in the Facebook group, and I always trash on GameFound for, you know, not being the most user-friendly if you're a small publisher. And by the most user-friendly, I mean not being user-friendly. Uh, not being a place if you're a small publisher that you would want to go, unless you have a big designer, a big artist, a big game, or a second print run, okay? But, apparently, the back-end stuff is also equally as atrocious. There's a really interesting Facebook, uh, like, board game designers group, and I, like, clicked on it, because people were like, what do you think about the game found, you know, back-end stuff? And I didn't realize it was that terrible. I, so, there you go. I did another reason, another thing that game found needs to improve, I guess? I'm trying to say that in a nice way? They set it all in one thin, proper box without proper protection. Given the package had 20 kilograms, you can imagine the condition of the box arrival. It's important to point out the game box is inside was freely put in the thin box. So, this is not a game-found experience, necessarily. More of a 
chip theory games experience it seems like of course the games inside were destroyed almost every box was damaged the one insert from burn cycle base was blah 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 stuff things we cannot arbitrate customer support issues in our public comments if they are not satisfied with the response you've gotten from our support agent you may ask for yeah uh, we cannot no no no. you don't want to because of course you don't want to you don't want people dragging their problems into your lawn which is why i always recommend you drag your problems into their lawn 100 percent of the time Bring it into their new Kickstarter. Bring it into their old Kickstarter. Who the hell cares? Get satisfaction one way or the other because they don't want you to do it, which is why you should do it. This comment is for future customers so they know how CTG treats customers. I am in shock every time I think of the situation. Now, let's see what they say. We cannot arbitrate customer support issues in our public comments. If you are not satisfied with the response you've gotten from our support agent, you may ask for the matter to be escalated and reply to your ticket. And we pass on to someone... Uh, they are represent they're presenting their games as a jewel of a board game collection, both in gameplay and component excellence, but when I found my package were damaged, I am not able to use for storing the game inside. I cannot believe they treat the customers this way. The comments is for Cuper customers to know how they treat you. Mm, interesting. I just received an email from that Burn Cycle is on the way to Singapore. Should arrive early January. So this looks like someone who was uh, outside the United States of America, most likely, which very hit or miss on shipping. And then too many bones on a breakable. I'm pretty sure this one is out. I don't get mine in Japan yet. I'm a German backer. I've received my pledge yet. Please open a ticket. Okay. So when was that? 130? 130? Oh, wow. That's actually really good. Okay. So, final grade. Let's uh, we'll actually check out the updates, then give this one a final grade. So, Roth. Do I want it? Um, yeah, kind of, I guess. Once we got past the first 30 seconds of the video, it looked pretty cool. Asymmetrical is my jam. Components look nice. It's fine. We're watching uh, the thing and the stuff to do the thing with the stuff. It's official, the cool art, but what is it? See Roth, play Roth, Roth live stream. Ooh, what's that? Oh, these are uh, prototypes. Send them out to content creators across the globe. Awesome. Neato Speedo. Uh, is this, when was this? Oh, this was, okay, so this is 215. All right, final grade. Do I want it? Yeah, 65 bucks. Solid pedigree. I'm in. Seems fine. It's one of those ones where it's like, if you've never gotten in on a chip theory game, you're like, ah, what's all the hubbub about? This one seems like a really nice entry point. You know, 96 bucks to get an all-in. It's pretty reasonable with two expansions. 65 bucks to get the base game. Also pretty reasonable. The $200 plus one seems like crack prices, though. But still, how much is it seems fine. Can you do it? Yeah, I'm not particularly worried about it. Just because... They have $154,000 to make it right now, so if they don't make it, it's it's pretty incompetent. Uh, I mean, I hate to say that, but that's a lot of money to make what looks like not a very complex game. Because while you might say, oh, but the neoprene playmats for us, they're not, it's just, they're not hard. You just say, hey, I want these dimensions of neoprene playmats. And like, okay. And then they give you the quote, and then you're on your way. That's it. Um, so Final Grade for Roth, I mean, it's, it's fine. It looks fine. It looks like a fine game. So I think we're in the B range. B minus. Got videos. Lead off with a how to play video. You got a gameplay video. No rule booklet, which is annoying. Not converting the things, which seems amateurish. Which is surprising considering you're not amateurish. Uh, converting the uh, the to millimeters as well. So I'm going to go with a B minus, I guess. You know, I'm not excited. But I imagine if you're a, a, a Chip Theory Games fan, you are. Maybe. Yeah, that's about it. 60 minute asymmetric. No, okay. Yeah, I'm going to be minus. Let me know in the comments below. It's your final grade. It's it's fine. It's a fine game. It's fine. It's fine. Roth from Chip Theory Games. It's fine. Yeah, nothing else to say. <laughs> if you enjoyed the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, quick show note. There's going to be some big changes. Big changes starting in April as I will be leaving Hero Time Manufacturer as uh, Hero Time Manufacturing is like a sales associate and pivoting into starting my own Kickstarter agency, which will be, um, have like a lot of people from Hero Time, if you manufacture with them, they might send you to me to do Kickstarter stuff for you. So very excited to see how that goes. But, bye. Yeah, I just don't have anything to say about Roth. I just, I want to say more, but it's like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs>